Hey team, it's Ripper here. I hope you guys are doing great. Got another great video with the nice old Holland, which I think, honestly, I'll, I'll talk about it later, but I think the European DDs are probably one of the strongest DDs in the game. That's my opinion. Um, let me know what you think about that. Hey, like, subscribe, bell button. We are, appreciate all those who supported the channel. We are at 400 subscribers on our way to our next goal of 500, which we're actually achieving pretty quickly now. And uh, we can't thank you enough for all those supporting for sailing ships, shooting ships, and having a great time building the community, having fun doing it at the same time. It's all about, that's what we're all about here, having fun and learning something from it. So, the Holland. One of the uh, tech lines, so anybody can get this destroyer, by the way. It is a tech line destroyer that if you grind it, you can get it. Now, I think, honestly, in my opinion, the European DD line uh, is probably... The strongest that I have ever seen in any destroyer line to this date, and I'll explain why. Uh, one, it, it, it's the ability to have these heals. Uh, any destroyer line, I mean, if you look at the American line, the German line, uh, even some of the Japanese lines, tech trees, a uh, majority of them don't have heals. I mean, look at the U.S. destroyer line, the, the Gearings, the Summers, um, Fletchers. I mean, they don't really have any heals. The only one I think that has a heal is the Kid which is a phenomenal DD, uh, but it's a tier seven or eight, I believe, a tier eight. And it's, only one, it's the only one that got heals. But most of the destroyer lines don't have heals. Uh, if you know, the Marceau, uh, the Club Bear, uh, let's think about all these other you know, nations that have it. But the European destroyer line, I think there may be one or two destroyer lines I haven't mentioned here. I can't think of the top of my head that have heals. But the only one that comes to mind right now is the European one, the Holland, the... Um, I think Ghost for Gotland has it, uh, the Tier 9, the, uh, the uh, Smallland, and the Ragnar. The top three DDs that I've actually used in the European lines are the Smallland, Ragnar, and the Holland. All have heals, which is incredible. You build Superintendent, you get four heals. Uh, Ragnar gets three, and Smallland gets four as well if you build it that way. And I'm actually, hold on, let me, let me show you this. Okay, we uh, spot the Druid. We're opening fire on him, but this is exactly why you don't want to mess with the Druid. Look, look at the amount of damage he is putting on us, and we're not doing much to him. And dang, we took a massive broadside, either from a Venezia or Thunder. I think it was a Venezia. That was a lot because I saw the red streaks there. But my gosh, the aiming on the these days against Destroyers has been horrendous. I mean, I've been, you know, I'm a Destroyer main guy, and I've been getting blapped like crazy at range. I mean, look at the Venetian and the, the Thunder. They were literally pretty far away. We might get a nice torpedo hit in the background. Uh, but honestly, the, I don't know what it is. Maybe it just got a buff or maybe the aim's better nowadays. But man, destroyers are just having a hell of a hard time dodging and weaving in and out of these shells because they are super accurate now. And I don't know how to explain it, but they're really good shots. Anyway, digress. Let's talk about the European line. Uh, so the Holland here, again, we're, we're, we're cheating away because you don't want to take on a Druid. There, there's my tactic for the day. <laughs> don't take on a Druid as a destroyer because you're, I've, I've, I'm telling you, I've been in a Druid. I've taken down Hollands and Gearings and Shimakazes so easily with those, uh, you know, guns that literally don't care about angling and they're rapid fire. Uh, that's something for you to think about. Just let you know if you see a Druid, run. Or you charge them with torpedoes and everything you got. Uh, because it is literally a Petro little destroyer, if you will, that noses in many rapid firing guns. Only you can do is take out his guns and he's defenseless. No torpedoes. But I digress. You run away. Uh, the other cool thing. Look, I got heals. I'm coming back to life. I'm reprinting the ship. I'm rebuilding. I'm a zombie destroyer. The Holland's really awesome about that. Look at that. The heal is awesome. It's amazing. It's, it's survivability at its finest. It's got a nice engine boost to get a runaway if you need to, and it's got defensive fire, which I think is broken still because Holland's got the best AA in the game, but yet it still loses out. I have another video of that later. I'll show you that it has the best A in the game and it loses to the Nakamov, which is, I think, a broken CV. Uh, anyways, digress. The video today is about the Destroyer. Uh, the Holland. What is so great about it? Nice, fast-firing guns. Um, it may, with the new meta, not be as effective as uh, um, some big uh, destroyers out there, like the Kabarovs, uh, maybe some Club Bears, may, and also maybe a Ragnar, because it, the, the shells are just little shells, and they shatter. Uh, but they do do its job against regular small DDs. Now, the bread and butter of the Holland is what you're seeing right now, me just doing uh, torpedo spamming. It is a fast firing reload torpedoes which are nice um not the quickest i think yeah there are other destroyers out there and get down to like maybe a minute to a minute 10 i mean you're getting about maybe 88 seconds uh, of reload time here it's not bad 
Um, I didn't build for it. As you can see as the build at the beginning of the screen. It, I built it for guns because I'm using it at my Ragnar and Small and Cap'n, but it does the job really well. Again, mess with the Ragnar again. Don't mess with the Ragnar. Look at that. He is putting more hate on me than I am on him. So, you know what? It's about time to get out of Dodge and get out of here. So, um, yeah. I, look, at angling uh, almost doesn't do much for me. I got to get this heal back. Come on, heal, heal, heal. Yep, there we go. And we're launching torpedoes and getting out of the way. Problem solved, sir. The torpedoes, are literally, you can get them up to about 90 plus knots. I mean, they are 90 knots right now. Uh, it's incredible uh, the way I built it. Uh, literally, you are shooting silver bullet laser beams that are in the water. These fishes can swim super fast. They don't do the most damage, but it doesn't matter. You're shooting them out every 90 seconds, which is pretty phenomenal. And if you catch one just real good, I mean, you're going to see that later in the game. It is a pretty uh, uh, unstoppable force if you can't spot the DD. So what is going on right now with the game? Looking at the mini map, we lost all the caps. Now we just got one back. We're, we're doing pretty well. We got four ships down, just killed another one. We're four ships down and we're starting to take control of the caps. They're starting to run away. I got a vampire on the west of us where you gotta keep an eye out, so I'm keeping an eye on him on the mini map. But the druid is what's killing us right here. He's holding this flank really well and keeping us at bay. Salem has got the radar. We're waiting for him to pop it while we got a conqueror uh, up north uh, trying to take on a Vermont. And we got the Yamato who's pressing in against a destroyer who's in smoke. So I don't know. I mean, I know you wanna push a druid, but you gotta have some kind of, you know, secondaries of some kind or maybe rapid firing guns, or maybe support from a cruiser, but man, going in by yourself on a battleship against a druid, it's pretty, pretty rough. Anyways, why do I like the European uh, destroyer line? Again, they got the speed boost, they got the heals, uh, they're very quick, they're good at capping, they're good at contesting caps as well as taking on destroyers. The defensive, actually they have some of the best AA in the game. Uh, the uh, Holland's got, honestly, I thought was the greatest, but uh, nowadays with the new the rework of CVs and more, you know, heavy, now we're coming out with fighter jets. Oh my gosh, I don't even know that, what's the point of AA anymore? Uh, that could be another topic later on. But it's got AA, so it can fend off against the tier eight, tier nine, uh, tier eight, and tier 10 destroyers that are lower in, in tech tree line. Uh, and that's about it. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's the best you can do with AA. But now what we're going to do is going to see this Des Moines coming in, and we're going to put some preemptive torps in front of them. Now watch how fast these things leave the tubes. It's pretty, pretty amazing how fast. It, I don't know if this really could happen in real life. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Those are laser beams, ladies and gentlemen. Those are fishes that literally are swimming like the Olympics-style uh, swimming here, just like leaving the ship at blazing light speed, and we get the vampire. I'm debating if we want to shoot or not. Yep, he goes into smoke. I knew it. Hopefully these torps hit him in the water. Or uh, in the smoke, that is. And we still have the Druid over here, which is just... Look, I'm telling you, the Druid is strong. I mean, it is built on survivability. It also has heals. So, you got to think about it. it you're fighting against an AP-only type of ship. And the Salem is taking a bold move going against them. That's a bold move, Cotton. You're going against a Druid with no support up there. Now, I got this other Des Moines right here I got to deal with. And we're going to see if we can start a fire on him. Look at the guns. Okay, we got Fearless Brawler active. So, we got the guns down to 1.5 reload. That's pretty pretty good, uh, kind of like small and level uh, rate of fire. So that's what was the Holland back in the day was my favorite because the guns were so fast. And uh, now we're gonna just keep withering away. Ugh, look at that shot, didn't even see that coming. Man, sometimes you just get blindsided by ships you don't see on the mini map and didn't realize they were there. And this is a good time to just get out of Dodge. Okay, Druid, okay, great job. Salem takes on the Druid, good job there. Thank you for taking them out. Now we gotta worry about our own skin. We are literally about to die, but you know what? We ran out of heal, and this is just a uh, compliment to the survivability of the Holland. But those four heals, I literally got to reprint another Holland, if you will. And I'm still in the game with 642 left, and thank God there's no CVs in right here, because they could hunt us down and be a bad day for us. Anyways, we're gonna see if we can just keep spamming torpedoes out here. We'll get rid of these two fishes as, uh, as we start retreating because we don't know where uh, the radar, that we actually do know where the radar, Des Moines is right there. Hopefully we can get maybe one or two, I mean, it only takes maybe one torpedo to sink that Des Moines. I think he may be out of heels. Uh, so obviously he's pushing towards the Salem and we got the vampire as well, contesting that area. But you know what? We have the advantage of ships. Our, we got the two cap uh, point lead. I think we can, if we just stay up here and propose a threat, uh, maybe that won't push down. So again, you notice the whole time I've just been doing circles, 360s, back and forth, back and forth. And this is a great area denial tactic. 
that helps if you have a good team now on the south side that they can slowly wither away their team and they start begin to push north Engine and that allows us to you know just wait it out and especially that's where the heels come into play we can wait out we took two broadsides from either venezia or thunder or whatever it may be up there or vermont and we survived look at the reloads now we're back down boom i got a minute reload down to these uh and the ar team look at that minute reloads on these torpedoes insane the torpedoes haven't even reached the target yet and we're almost halfway to reloading again so let's hope that this ooh, we thunder took out the vermont but that's okay we still got the cap uh, and we still got uh somewhat of a ship and point lead and until we lost the salem right there to the vermont who just blapped him for everything so let's hope these torpedoes are swimming straight and true into the des moines let's see if we can get a nice shot because the rpf and again a great skill to have rpf on your destroyers it gives you situational awareness at all times as what's the next closest ship which I think is a very crucial thing. Information and communication is very, very important. And those torpedoes, are, oh, we hit one. And let's look at the top right, is it ticking away? Yes, we have a flooding and that might be the end of the Des Moines, I believe. Keep on ticking. Oh, it changed, RPF changed, we have somebody up. There it is, Des Moines goes down for the count. That's our first kill of the day. As the title of the video says, we have four kills. So obviously we got three more we got to deal with right here. So let's see what are the other three victims that we are going to take on right now. So I know where the Vermont is. So I got them on RPF. So I'm going to start cheating away and going back down southwest. All while keeping an eye out for the vampire, which I have no idea where he's at. All I know is the closest guy right now is me, is in the direction I'm looking at right now, which is, I think, the Vermont. We've got the Venezia and the Thunderer being held at bay by our other Holland and Shimikaze, two torpedo boats, which is a rough time to go against two torpedo boats with nobody spotting for you and no radar. So we have the advantage, okay? But again, I've seen a World of Warships where we could totally throw this game and blow it if we don't literally act upon and positioning, positioning, positioning. If I have to say it enough, the key component of winning a game like in any kind of game in this arena is all about position. It's all about maneuverability of your vessel is it all about positioning of where you're putting your weapons and systems into bay and being in a position to use those weapon systems and that's what you're doing is trying to keep at bay all the enemy because nobody firing nobody dying so if you ain't firing nobody dying you're gonna be losing so now we got the vermont coming in i'm gonna wait to see if we squeeze one through the gap here and i should have fired a little earlier because i think he's speeding up but hopefully our speed of torpedoes is going really fast enough to catch him full broadside and hopefully they swim straight and true. Venezia is pushing our Holland, and it turns out that Venezia is a good player because he's been taking out people left and right and pressing all of our DDs um, out of the area. I mean, that Venezia is pretty scary. 15, I believe 15 guns of sap. It, it, you saw how it, much it hurt me, and that's not, not something you want to deal with. And unless we can get this Vermont out, and again, look, the torpedoes haven't reached the target yet, and we got 15 seconds away from the next salvo. I mean, this literally is a machine gun for torpedoes. If that's the style of gameplay you like, recommend the Holland. Definitely, definitely, definitely. It's a great torpedo boat, great concealment, great heels, good engine boost, and it is good against uh, what I thought was, you know, the it can only get as the best you can get in the game against uh, CVs or carriers, or I call airports, floating airports. Uh, that are literally are just launching planes at you, but then usually people avoid Hollands. Except for the Nakamov lately, he's been doing really well. We missed the first set. Uh, let's hope we can get this one. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why these torpedoes are missing. I mean, we are shooting out 10 at a time here, and I don't know why we can't get a single hip, a hit on this massive floating barge I call the Vermont, uh, which is slow, by the way, but it's very, this player is really good at maneuvering. Um, uh, don't know, um, it's probably me. I, I always blame myself. It's nobody else but my fault. So we're going to keep turning away and just slowly keeping them in range. 10 kilometers away is kind of far. Concealment goes down to six. I could get closer to get better shots, but why chance it? Because I'm almost dead. And that vampire po uh, spot uh, popped up. So I got to keep my distance because one little shot will literally blow up my ship made of duct tape right now because I literally had to reprint, rebrand the whole ship from a brand new thing. We just grabbed whatever school supplies you could to keep the ship afloat. And now we got another reload of torpedoes here and let's see what we can do. He's turning in, so let's see if we can get one before he turns. And hopefully we can squeak one past this island here. Let's see. 
Yep, we're gonna see, up. Oh, he's speeding up. So let's fire one right into the island uh, or gap there. And hopefully these will hit and cause some kind of damage. So goodness gracious, I don't know what is taking forever to kill these ships. Venezia is still alive, my goodness. I mean, look, me and the Z-52 here are staying together in formation because we literally are falling apart. Uh, we are the zombies of the destroyers because we one little hit would, would take us down. Vampire opens up and he reveals his position. Wait for both of our guns to get on target and we begin firing to help out our team. We have to at this point. Uh, we, we cannot afford to lose any more ships because we're all about to die. Might as well maximize firepower. This is exactly how you should play. Boom! Torpedoes hit. Vermont, he goes down. And let's see if we can nail this vampire for the third kill. We have to get rid of him. This is a tactic game. Now, look, he points his guns at me. We're keeping him distracted with everybody else. And our one shell gets him. And we miss his shell in it perfectly by turning and maneuvering away. Again, keeping our Holland and Z-52 alive was crucial by distracting the vampire, getting his guns onto us and keeping our Z-52 alive, who was about to die, and keeping our all in as well, spotting the Venezia. And now we got three kills down. Looks like we've won the game. Well, you know what? Why not finish it off with a nice finish him shot right here and see if we can nail the Venezia. Have I told you already how much I like the European destroyer line? They are pretty, pretty awesome, strong. Again, I think it, it, it all boils back down to the heels. Uh, the, the ability to have the print a brand new destroyer uh, the ability to have the speed boost and also have some of the best AA in the game. Uh, but also the weapon systems. Like I said, the Holland's known for its torpedoes and now the guns if you build for it. The Smallin is not known for its torpedoes even though it has it, but it has radar and fast firing guns. So a gunboat kind of style build. That's my style of gameplay right there. And you've got the Ragnar, my favorite favorite. I would say number one steel ship right now, which is the Ragnar. If you don't know what that is, check it out. Got a video on it. But check it out in the armory. The Ragnar is literally like a, a big brother to the Holland and the Smallin, but the only thing is it doesn't have torpedoes. Now, it does make up for it for having some of the biggest destroyer guns that you can have, which is 152 millimeters, essentially Wooster-style guns on a little destroyer of its, of its kind. Uh, I say little. I say that with a grain of salt because it's actually one of the biggest destroyers. If you look at it, it's pretty long and big and bulky and clunky and a big bus to drive around, if you will. And uh, that's what it's really known for is the big guns and radar. So as soon as you get spotted, pop the radar, start firing, and you wipe out, you know, uh, the, the uh, you know, either destroyer or whatever you're shooting at. But basically, I'm telling you, the European destroyer line is pretty, pretty brutal. But look at this right here. Open fire on the Venezia. See if we can start a fire. And lo, here comes some fish. Boom! Fish fillet. RIP back to Porti Venezia goes down for the fourth kill of the game. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment, share. We're on our way to 500 subscribers. Uh, send down the comments below what you think, what you would do better, uh, what, we, what you thought was awesome, what you dislike, what you like. Anything you do to help improve the community. And I uh, hope these uh, tactics and, you know, and tips and procedures were helpful to you to get uh, a better opinion about you know, the European or the Holland line and also how to play uh, this particular map. Until then, you guys, be safe. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.